Hi everyone, it's Dr. Paulina Boa. Hi everyone, it's Sidia. It's because you have to give a few seconds for the mic mm -hmm. to generate. Thanks. Is it going live? It's... Okay. okay, so today we're going to show you how chin liposuction is done. Now, if you don't think that Danielle needs any liposuction, you can look at her pre-operative pictures uh, for uh, an evaluation and um, she believed that she needs liposuction done, so that's what we're going to do today. Now, her chin melts into my neck. She says her chin melts into her neck. Anyway, <laughs> this is a, an awake procedure, as we always do awake procedures, because it is the safest way to do a procedure. Patient is fully conscious, aware of what we're doing. We do the same techniques for liposuction, lipoabdominoplasty, Brazilian butt lift, vaginal surgeries, chin liposuction, and any type of revision surgeries. Now, as a... Uh, as a point of reference, if you've ever seen Dr. Pimple Popper, when she does her lipo lipoma removals, she generally will use a tumescent solution, which is a, uh, what we're using today as a modification. Now, this can be done by a simple cannula to suction off the cannula, but I'm gonna use uh, the uh, suction machine today, simply because I'm gonna use a little bit more uh, anesthetic uh, to, uh, to distinguish the certain areas of her, of her uh, jawline and her neck. Uh, because you have to be very careful in these general areas, especially when there's not a significant amount of, of fat that has to be removed. But it's better to, to mess the tissue, hydro-separate the tissue with a tumescent solution. It works very well as an anesthetic, but also hydro-separation to keep the, the cannula away from sensitive or important uh, structures and vessels. So that's what we're going to do today. So, Is there anybody watching? Yes, 29 people. All right, so she's already been prepped. I've already done her... Um, her uh, chin or her cheeks and her neck uh, with a combination of betadine and hepacleanse. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to numb her uh, her chin because that's going to be the entry point. So in numbing the chin, we're going to uh, take a... Um, now I've already cleaned her, uh, her, her uh, neck, but I'm just going to try to keep my hand in this general area where I'm going to be working. So we're just going to make a little pinch, one, two, three, and pinch. You feel a little burn, and then that's going to be a wheel that's created. This is the point of entry. All right, so as with any procedure with a wake, uh, the hardest part is the numbing because this medication does have a um, a stinging effect when it's first injected. Now, using this big old cannula, this is going to be allow, allow me to entry from a single point where I'm going to go ahead and numb from the, the chin on down. So I've already numbed on the chin area, but we're just going to go ahead and do it again. This time pressing a little harder. And I'm going to go ahead and numb to the chin to the jawline. And again, I prefer to lift the tissue up when I'm doing this and inject. And so you can see how thin this area is. So there's, you have to be careful exactly where you're putting that cannula or the needle. Are you numbing? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, if you don't feel the actual needle, then you're actually it's numbing already. Now again, this is a, it seemed to be a lot, I don't need this much, but as I said, in thin patients, you want to make sure that you, you separate the skin from the underlying tissue and vessels. So the fact that we're using more than necessary is actually good. So let's Turn around, we're going to do a little dance, and I'm going to do the other side. Okay. 
What's that character on uh, on Family Guy? The one with the real prominent chin? <laughs> I don't remember his name. Uh, can't think of his name. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, though. Mm -hmm. I can't even feel anything you're doing. Oh, that's good. Because most of your audience is saying, What? <laughs> what are you putting so much? Somebody put that face with the teeth like, oh. <laughs> this doesn't hurt. <laughs> now remember, I'm going to be liposuctioning here, so you definitely want to make sure that, that turn your chin this way, that we're not uh, putting anesthetic, I mean, that we're not going too deep on the tissue. They said Glenn Quagmire. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. This feels heavy. Mm -hmm. Now she's just describing it as feeling heavy, and that's exactly what we're looking for. <clears throat> Thank you, Melissa. She said Quagmire. Brittany said, the Family Guy reference reminds me of what you said mm -hmm. at an appointment with you when uh, you said your baby's head is bigger than their body. You ever heard of Marvin the Martian? Yeah. <laughs> so I have Marvin the Martian. Are you done? No, not yet. Do you want another syringe? What? Yes. <laughs> well, you get the part right underneath your chin. I, I just made kind of like a, a butterfly it, it right like now. There's a lot in there. There's a lot in there. There's one. This will be uh, the last of them. Or just down the midline. Okay, I just feel really heavy. Yes. Yeah. Like my chin weighs under. Oh. It, it probably does. <laughs> so now, here is the area that we're going to be focusing in on right here because she has uh, a little bit of fat there that she's not happy with. The question, the problem is that it it's not a lot of fat, so you have to be aware of those associated structures and the associated nerves. Even though I may not be liposuctioning that far down, she might be able to feel it. Even though that I'm working just on her chin, the referred discomfort And that should be more than enough now. <laughs> so that was, believe it or not, that was only, <laughs> oh my God, you really do look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not, that was only um, 70 cc's of uh, anesthetic. Like, I don't, I didn't feel anything. I just feel, you know, when you go to the dentist and you're, they numb your jaw or your mouth and it feels really heavy. Yeah. <laughs> My chin feels super heavy. <laughs> it does look heavy too. <laughs> Alright, so next what we're gonna do is make our first incision. Uh Any, give me a favor. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna uh need you to open up that distort the, the natural 
little cheeks that she has. Now again, this can be done, turn your head. This can be done by hand cannula with suction. I prefer to use the suction device. More than, than we need. Okay. So next, we're going to go to the other side. Stuff. Now, I do use Cabela, which is a is a fat reducing solution. However, I found the chin liposuction is superior to Cabela. But if you're not comfortable with uh, syringes and needles and you're just nervous, your belly can work, but uh, it can burn for, and swell up for a number of, of weeks. So most people will not want to do that. Okay, well, we're, we're done there then. I'm going to try a slightly larger cord for the fat right in the middle. I'm going to pass the cannula one more time though. On the top of it? Yeah, from this area here. Again, I'm parallel to the skin. You don't want to jab too far uh, uh, deep. And then you go back to work. The next day, or, or usually we give a, a, a day off because might be some streaking or some swelling and people don't want to they want to look like they just look like a character for family guy <laughs> they don't want to explain it so all you need is Tylenol and, and ibuprofen for for treatment somebody wants to know if you will show how much fat you get there's only going to be less than 10 cc's. You can see it right here in the cannula. There's a little bit of blood, but it's less than 10 cc's, believe it or not. Now remember, a filler, which is something that you put in your lip, is uh, there's only one cc, yet it enhances the, the appearance of your lip. Um, now in her case, it's less than 10 cc's. Now there's going to be uh, patients that, that have a significantly more uh, that they want removed, and so Generally, I, I'm seeing somewhere between 10 and up to 50 cc's. And I'm just going to pull this a little bit forward. We don't want to hit her um, Adam's apple. I mean, that's a cute little one. We don't want to damage it. Again, I lift up all this tissue so that it makes it easier to avoid any underlying structure issues. And in some cases, maybe same day consult. Again. Yeah, same day consult. Same day lipo. Same day lipo. Brittany says, this is crazy, but so educational. Thank you, Danielle, for letting us watch. Hope you're having fun. <laughs> I don't know my jaw. You can see my jaw. Yeah, that's like, her. My jaw's fine. Her concern is her jawline, and that's why, again, it's a very small amount, but you got to be careful. And again, I can do this with hand cannulas, but I always break the suction because I do it from so many angles. And again, very superficial, and you have to be careful not to damage the skin because you can leave a, a, a mark or an indentation. So this is very, like two fingers only. That's how I'm, I'm inserting two fingers with my hand underneath and two fingers I'm holding the cannula. You can't force this. You okay, okay? I'm good. You don't feel pressure? Yeah. 
I'm trying to develop that, that corner jaw line. And she tell, and that's the great thing about the patient talking to you, is that they can tell you, even though it looks perfectly fine from my end, she can tell me if, if it's going too far, if it's getting uncomfortable, and that's what we need to do. So I'm developing that jaw line for her, grabbing underneath. Since I don't want to go back on this procedure in case I miss something, that's why I'm taking my time. Normally, this is a five-minute procedure. It, like I said, it takes longer to numb than it does to remove the fat. And her main complaint is right here underneath her chin. And so I'm making sure that I'm getting there. Now this procedure normally is a $2,500 procedure where, like I said, we're offering it for $500. I'm just going to pass the cannulas that I have, simple set. So Chief said, get it right or no thinner for you. That's right. <laughs> i got to sleep in the shed tonight. <laughs> going to grab a little bit more over here because again the, the, the appearance may think that it's all in the middle but in reality it may be just off to the side so you want to get this as well and I can assure you that it's less than 10 cc's of, of fat And I'm, and I'm practically done. The next thing I'm going to do is just close the site with a stitch. And when the patient starts to get uncomfortable, that's probably where you know you've done everything you can. Because this numbing solution will last more than an hour. But if she's starting to get, or he's starting to get uncomfortable with what you're doing, you probably have done everything that you can. All right, we're going to stop there. And now we're just going to close. It's a single stitch or four o micro. Uh, PD, uh, PD, you think you got it all? I think I got it all. Yeah, I, I went three or four times. <laughs> that easy. Straightforward. And again, she's she's fully awake. And I'm simply going to go ahead and do very, 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 very tiny mark. Bring the, just reapproximating that skin. And, and this will um, dissolve. Yeah. This does not have to be removed. It'll dissolve by itself. If it's still there in a week, I'll go ahead and, and remove the stitch. They want to know how long is recovery for pain and what do you send home for pain control? Molten and Tylenol over the counter. It'll be sore the next day. A little stiff, maybe. You can go to work. You can go to work. Yeah, we got to go to work. See, if you want to go to work afterwards, same day, same, or next day. But I'll update you guys later once the numbing wears off. They want to know what happens to the skin afterwards. To the it retracts back. I'm going to show you next what we do there. And, uh,. <laughs> All right, so we're going to. So, this is just a, a little strap that you can apply to the general area. There's a little loop for the ears. It's just an ear thing? It's just a. Oh, it comes around. 
I'll readjust this in the recovery area. But that's it. That is awake chin liposuction. The safest way to do cosmetic procedures is fully conscious. That's why we do them for breast liposuction, like abdominoplasty, Brazilian butt lift, and one more gobble neck. Chin lipo and of course vaginal surgeries. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Bye guys. You finish up. How'd you feel? Okay. You wanna say anything? You feel good? You feel good? <laughs> I feel good. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Hey everybody, so I know it's kind of late, but I kind of wanted to come on here real quick before I went to bed and shower. I just kind of wanted to show you guys my results and oh my god, I took the bandages off yet again. These are my results. The swelling has gone down even more and you can actually see my jaw more prominent. There's still some swelling up in here and up in here. But my jaw and my chin is just so much more prominent now. Like, it's so crazy. Uh, I am a little sore. Not, like, extreme. Like, where I have to go give me some pain medication. No. Um, I do still feel, like, a little numb. So, that's why I feel like my lip, like, I'm talking a little funny still. But, other than that, oh, my God, you guys. I cannot believe the results. Like, I'm still a little swollen here and here. But when I took off my headpiece thing right now, I was like, you can actually see my chin. Like, Look. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I wanted to come on here and show you that really, really quick. Um, if you guys had any questions, we did extend the special. Hold on, because my hand's getting tired. We did expend, extend the special until May for Mother's Day, you guys. So I know we had originally said the special was only for April. The special we extended up until May, so you guys, you guys can still call and make your consultation. So glad you're the you're only a little sore. Yeah, I'm only a little sore. Like it's really crazy. Um, it's nothing what I thought it was going to be, you guys. I thought I was going to be like, oh my God, it's, it's painful. Not even, not even. Um, but yeah, I wanted to come on here real quick. You guys can hear my son. He's screaming over there. He's about to get out of the bathtub. Very nice. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Look at the side. My jawline. You can actually see my neck and my chin now, you guys. It is crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. Like, I can't wait for the actual final results. Be, just be, like, aware that with any type of procedure you guys get done, even when you get injections in your lips or whatever, it's going to swell a little bit, and then the swelling goes down. So it's with anything, even a little bit of lipo with the chin, you're going to have some swelling. Um, As you guys saw when he was uh, numbing me, you saw how big my chin got. But all that already went down. Now what's left is just swelling from the actual procedure. Look at the jawline, you guys. Like, oh, it's so awesome. I can't wait till the actual, the rest of the swelling from the procedure goes down, and it's gonna look amazing. I'm like so, I'm already happy right now, and the results are not even final. But yeah, you guys, like it's crazy. Um, the special right now we have going on, you guys, is starting at five hundred dollars for the chin liposuction. Usually, um. Most of the people that have come in are paying around 500. Um, it just depends on how much fat needs to be removed. Your price of the liposuction might go up just a little bit. It just all depends. Um, requiring, oh, the, another question I got a lot, guys, was BMI. Is this BMI gonna be an issue? For the most part, it might not, but there is a limit for awake procedures that we can only, um, to a certain BMI, we can perform even a chin liposuction on you guys. But um, since it's kind of not that, you know, difficult of a procedure. The BMI can go a little bit higher on a chin liposuction. And, um, don't worry, it's facing me. Okay. Um, so we can be a little bit more um, flexible on a chin liposuction when it comes to the BMI, but we do have limits on everything. There are BMI limits on every single type of procedure we perform. We do it completely awake, you guys, as you saw in my video. Um, but no, I don't see like any bruising whatsoever, you guys. So I'm just going to keep the compression as long as I can. Um, but it's amazing. I'm excited. So if you guys are interested, call the office tomorrow. Get your appointment. We did extend the special until May for Mother's Day. So go ahead and take advantage of that, you guys. The special is starting at $500 for a chin liposuction. I was so nervous at first, but I didn't feel anything, you guys. Anything. Not even when he injected me. I was even like, 
are you even numbing me or what's going on? Like, I don't feel anything. Make sure you numb me. That's what I was worried about. I'm like, make sure you numb me. But I didn't feel anything, you guys. It was amazing. Thank you, Swatchies. Thank you, thank you. I'm so excited. We have a jawline, you guys. It's amazing. Oh, okay, so the price for chin light bulbs before our special, you guys, was ranging from 2000 to 2500 um, for a chin light bulb section, you guys. Okay, come in, baby. <laughs> My son's out of the bathtub already, so I gotta go get him. Um, but thank you so much, you guys, for watching. But that would, we average about $2,500 for a chin light bulb section. Um, so right now we're starting at $500 for a chill apple suction, and it's special. We started for April. We're extending till May for Mother's Day. Um, we thought that would be a great little gift for the mothers who are wanting to get this stuff done. We know that this procedure is not for everyone. It's not. I mean, it's everyone has their own opinions on what they want for themselves, but just letting you know it's not for everybody. But if you think it's for you, give us a call. Set your consultation up. Uh, most cases, we can do the procedure same day as your consult. And just be made aware that if you do get it done, you do have to have a designated driver after your procedure. It's just protocols that we do after any type of surgical procedure that we do have to find someone to drive you home after your procedure. But other than that, you guys, I'm so excited. Like I said, I am a little swollen from the actual procedure itself. But once that goes down, it's gonna look amazing, you guys. I'm so excited already just from the results right now. Alrighty, you guys, so I'm gonna go get my son out of the bathtub and get him dressed. We'll, we'll see you guys soon. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, everybody. Don't mind my, st my shirt. I was washing dishes right now and I got it all stained. Hey everybody. So I've been getting a lot of questions about my chin and my recovery and how it looks and how I feel. Is it sore? Is it painful? So um, I'm gonna come in here and answer all those questions. It's been a rather busy week for me so I haven't been able to answer all your questions but I try to answer them when I can, you guys. But I'm gonna just come in here and answer some questions plus show you um, my recovery process on my chin. Hey everybody, hey Sandy, hey everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, there's a fly in my house and I've been trying to catch it and I cannot kill it. Okay, mm. so tomorrow will be a week that I got my chin liposuction done because I had a pouch of fat here that connected like to my neck area and it was just always making my jawline and chin look really, I don't know, like double chin. Hi Sochi. Even no matter like what I did, it was just always there and it was always bothering me in pictures, everything like that. So I'm gonna show you guys so far um, how it looks. Sorry if I'm whispering a little because my son's taking his nap and I don't wanna wake him because then he's gonna be a little grumpy grouch. <laughs> okay, you guys, let me. Okay, so this is my chin so far, you guys. And I do have a little bit of swelling right here and it's still pretty tender because this is the incision site right here. But other than that, oh my God, I'm so happy with the results, you guys. Um, you are gonna expect swelling with your procedure no matter what type of procedure you get. Like even if you just get your lips done, you're gonna get swelling in your lips if you get your lips done. So I'm experiencing a little bit of swelling right here and to the touch, it's a little tender. It's a little firm too because that's a granulation. Um, from the actual procedure itself, it's gonna soften up, go away. Once all that softens up and goes away, it's gonna it's gonna retract back, and I'm gonna have. But you can see already. Look at my chin. I mean, I'm sorry, my jaw. <laughs> look at my jawline. I have a jaw and a chin, you guys. Before in my videos, you would see it here, like hanging down up to like right here. <laughs> I do have some swelling though. It's still a little tender to the touch when I touch it like this. Let me put the comments back. I'm not sore. I can move my head. That was a question I got too. Like, can you move your head, neck? I'm like, I can move my neck. I can do anything I want. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Sochi. <laughs> so, so far, it's so good. I am so happy with my results, you guys. It's amazing. And I know you guys, I've gotten messages and I know a lot of you are like, I'm so happy with my results. And I'm like, I told you. Don't mind this, you guys. I was washing dishes. But I'm so happy, like, you can even tell. You can tell, hold on. 
that I have a chin and a jaw now. A chin and a jaw. I'm so happy with that. Um, I wanted to come on here, you guys, and I wanted to let you know of a few specials because I've been getting a lot of questions about our Botox. Our Botox, you guys, um, we're having a Cinco de Mayo special, and it's going to be $8.50 $8 a unit. Uh, one day. Um, but me, I'm a little... What's that noise? It's my cat. Um, I only wore it for one day, 24 hours, you guys. But when I get a chance, I still try to wear it because it's still gonna... I feel like it helps just retract the skin back. Like, if I'm here at home washing dishes, right now I was washing dishes, I just put it on for a little bit. You know, doesn't hurt or anything at all. And if I'm washing dishes or if I'm just chilling on the couch or whatever I'm doing, I'll put it on for a little bit and then let it, just leave it there for a bit just to kind of help, I guess, retract the swelling. That's just me. Um, yes, yeah, just one day. 24 hours, like I said, when I'm at home, on and off, I'll put it on. I'll take it, I'll put it on, then I'll take it off, I'll put it on, then I'll take it off. Um, that's what, that's what I do personally. That You don't have to do that, but that's what I'm doing personally just here at home just to keep, just to keep everything in line with my chin um but yes botox is eight dollars and fifty cents a unit you guys um oh, i can't wait to get mine <laughs> i can't wait to get mine um so if you guys are interested in that that's only gonna be like a one day special we are gonna have specials throughout the whole month of may for botox um we have a ton of botox you guys if you guys are interested you can also get that done as well um what else was I gonna come on? Oh, pharmacy. Oh my God, am I getting a ton of questions about pharmacy? So what I posted yesterday, um, if you had a membership with pharmacy and you just never did anything with it or you, you know, you left it there for a while and, let, and there was no activity in your account and your account got shut down, your membership is not active. Right now, pharmacy just reactivated all your accounts for free. Usually it's $19.99 to reactivate your account. And right now, pharmacy just reactivated all your membership accounts for free. They're gonna pay the $20. They're gonna cover it on their end. Um, and they're also gonna give you a $10 spending cash. When you check out, um, you get $10 off your whole entire order. Um, and in order for all of this to reactivate your account you do have to spend fifty dollars but look you spend fifty dollars you get ten dollars off so it's forty dollars you get the twenty dollars waived fee so that's a lot of money you're saving right there um and by the way i'm wearing autumn story matte lippy so yes you guys right now if you had a pharmacy account and it got deactivated pharmacy went in there and reactivated all your accounts for free oh you're up i knew i heard something my son woke up. I'm like, I know I heard something. So go ahead and check that out because it ends on the 29th, you guys. Um, we have a ton, a ton of new products. But if you haven't been into pharmacy and it's been a while, go ahead and check out all the new products we have, you guys. Especially all the existing ones like our hair growth treatment. Um, our keratin set with the membership. You guys get that for only $22. The shampoo, conditioner, keratin spray, and the hair serum. Um, and like I said, pharmacy reactivated everyone's account for free. For free you guys that's amazing but yes um going back to the chin lipo section um we do have appointments left but not a lot if you don't make it to your consultation there's a good chance we cannot reschedule you for this special you guys because we are so overly booked for this special okay so if we give you an appointment we give you a slot and you agree to it and you don't come in there's a good chance you're not going to come back and get this special because we are so overly booked, like it's crazy. So keep your appointments, you guys, keep your appointments. That way that doesn't happen. And the consultation fee does go towards the price of your procedure. Okay, so don't worry about that. Like I'll have to pay a consultation fee on top of all that. Well, no, you. it's all gonna be included in the price of your liposuction, so don't worry about that. But yes, I'm gonna repeat it again. Um, if you make an appointment for your chin liposuction and you don't go, there's a very good chance that you're not gonna get rescheduled because um, our slots are so limited right now, you guys, like so, so limited, it's not even funny. Um, we are so overly booked. We still have slots left, but we're so overly booked that we can't really be like, oh, well, this patient didn't go in, so we're just gonna add her again and add her again, and she keeps not showing, she keeps not showing. So we be patient, be kind. 
um, we will get you scheduled, but make sure you do make it to your appointments. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm gonna be getting some Botox later, just to help with like my lines that I get here. I hate those lines. It makes, once I get it, oh my God, my face looks so smooth. Uh, I think we have a mommy pouch special for Mother's Day going on right now, Romy. Or, I'm sorry, Ronnie. We have a mommy pouch special going in for the, going on for the month of May for Mother's Day. Also, the chin liposuctions of Mother's Day is special that we extended as well. And um, I'll go ahead and try to see if I can post those all over again so you guys can see. Hey, Jamie! So you guys can see all of our pricing. Um, we do have a bunch of specials for the month of May because it's Mother's Day. Well, the month of May is Mother's Day. It's, the whole month is Mother's Day. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I do wear my chin straps still, like I said, on and off throughout the house. You don't have to. It's just what I do because I'm like that. Um, but yes, I'm going to show you guys my results again, the ones who are barely logging in. Let me put this to the side. So this is, so this is how my chin looks, you guys, and my jawline. I do have some swelling. I do have some swelling because obviously any procedure is going to cause swelling. It doesn't go away right away, so don't worry. And it happens about, about two days after you get your procedure. You're going to look very smooth and thin and everything's going to look good. And then you're going to get some tissue swelling, which is called granulation response. Okay, that granulation response makes the area a little hard, firm, and it swells. So once this goes down, I can feel it. it's a little hard right here. A little tender, nothing like extreme or anything like that. I wasn't in excruciating pain, you guys. I literally got home and I started making dinner. I started doing laundry, everything. I was fine. The next day too, I was a little bit sore, but pff, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. I'm like, I have to stay home today. No. <laughs> I did everything I was supposed to here at home. I was good, I was happy. I'm still happy, I'm incredibly happy with these results. Cause I have a chin and jawline now. But anyways, you guys, I kinda wanted to show you cause tomorrow is one week from the time I got this done. So I kinda wanted to show you how the results progress um, as you go. But if you guys have any questions and anything, shoot me a message or call our office, um, which is 915-595-9944. We can answer all your questions, get your appointments set up and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm not worth it. The things go. Okay. But if you guys have any questions, let me know. Hi, Jamie. It's so good to see you. Hi, Monica. Hi, everybody. So yes, I wanted to come on because everyone's like, post pictures. I want to see. I'm like, wait. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I came on here to show you guys because I love it. Okay. I'm going to go because I have to go. I made some spaghetti verde, green chili, chicken spaghetti, and I'm hungry and I want to go eat. Oh, thank you, Monica. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, and I'm hungry and I want to go eat. So yes, um... I'm gonna put this back on. Like I said, you guys, I put it on. Ah, no. Okay, so what would it make you qualify would be a BMI. No way. <laughs> a BMI. Okay, so we have limitations for each procedure that wouldn't make you qualify. So depending on what kind of liposuction you want, there is a special BMI, I think it's, I have, you have to call the office. They'll be able to tell you what, B, what BMI. Um, if you're pre-diabetic or diabetic, um, you probably won't be able to qualify for, for these specials due to the fact that, well, if you have diabetes or you're pre-diabetic, healing time or recovery time can either be prolonged or chances of infection can increase. So we don't really want to work with somebody who might have those conditions we just want to just make sure you're going to stay safe we're going to stay safe everyone's going to be safe so there are some conditions that we do not work with at all for any of our cosmetic surgeries um so you do have to call the office and make sure you do qualify if you do qualify our girls will schedule you they're going to ask you questions you know certain questions and if you check if you you know pass all those questions we'll schedule you who's playing that my mom's here they're gonna shut off my video. <laughs> my mom is over there. I'm like, I don't know what she's watching. I told her I'm gonna go live. And she's over there. My 
son's probably over there dancing too. Can you tell guys, I'm like so much happier on my chin. Any special on lipo and breast implants? I think, don't quote me on this, but I think that breast augmentations are 3,500 for sign and 4,500 for silicone. Um, those are starting prices. And then for any liposuction, um, oh, I think the, I've posted, I'm gonna post them again, you guys. We have a mommy pouch special. I can't remember the price, but it is for the month of May for Mother's, you know, Mother's Day promotion. Um, I'm gonna repost all of our specials, you guys. Or if you have any questions about any of our specials, just call our office at 915-595-9944 and they'll be able to tell you. <laughs> You're so silly with the jams. I'm not even playing them. It's my mom. She's in her room while they're playing all these this music for my son. Um, yes, call our office and they'll be able to give you exact amounts and stuff like that um, on our specials, you guys. So if you have any questions, call our office. 915-595-9944. Okay. We'll see you guys soon, but I am so happy with my chin, you guys. Can you tell? I don't know. I just feel more feminine. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shut the video off before they shut it off. My mom's having a party with my son over there. We'll see you. Tell your mom I said, yes, thank you so much, Sochi. If I haven't been able to answer your questions, you guys, I have my mom here at home with me. She had surgery on her knee. She had a total knee replacement, so I've been taking care of her. So please be patient and kind when I'm, if I don't answer you right away, it's due to because, you know, I'm a little busy here at home. But yes, I will tell her hi, Sochi. Thank you so much. Um, we'll see you guys soon. We'll talk to you later. We'll see you soon.